Hello there, Smegheads, and welcome to a brand new Lupper. Not done one of these in a while, and it's also of a game. A hacked game that I've been wanting to do for a while since it was translated into English, and as you can tell by the fact that there's no Nidorino instead of weird Pokemon Pikachu Machoke Bumbaclaw hybrid, this is. Pokemon Vega, the English translation, yes, I know I've said, I don't know when I said it, a while ago, but only recently did I admit that I did it a while ago, so therefore I was like, okay, let's do it again. Um, let's type that in and then tease the fact that there will be a new part, uh, no, a new LP that I want to fucking finish this time, because normally I don't finish them, do I? I normally get there and I don't finish, so maybe this time I will finish it. Because last time, I've done Pokemon Vega a couple of times before, and that was the English patch translation of the Japanese version. This is a full fat, full fat translation of the Japanese version. So, it's going to be pretty exciting. Can't wait. It's going to be good. So let's do it. Let's do it. Now, if you've not, if you don't know about Pokemon Vega, it's a hack game. It's a hack game of Pokemon Fire Red. I've already, I've already tried to um, record last time but Camtasia was acting like a bit of a dick so I'm almost tempted to restart this like just go from here but we want to see what's new on the new game screen so let's do that so but first before I do that there's lots of new fake mom there's lots of new fake Pokemon and they've got their own cries and for the most part they're all really cool there's also some new moves which are pretty fucking broken but they're still all right and we've also got some fourth gen and fifth gen moves as well as some fourth gen and fifth gen pokemon with their cries and it is mwah, they are high quality so super looking forward to playing this game it's going to be fantastic now i was on this bit also recording at the same time as trying to get my save file sorted because you might have a bit of a tr you might have a bit of trouble saving your game and if you do if you do just go into options go into emulator uh, go on to save type and then click 128k. If it's already on 128k, then I don't know. Maybe you'll have to reinstall, like, un you know, get rid of VBA and then reinstall it or something like that. But yeah, it should be on 128. If you've already got a save file that's 64k, like, and save state, get rid of that because unfortunately you are going to lose all of your data anyway. So you might as well get rid of that like, now and then go on to 128 because you will need it. You will need the ability to save uh, for the post game of this game, which is better than X and Y's will ever be. X and Y's were fuck, was fucking dreadful. Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire was a definite improvement, but I hope Sun and Moon have a much better starting, not starting, post-game. So yeah, let's go right into it, let's go right into it. In a world where you are about to embark and embark and embark, if you're about to enter, you will once again embark on an adventure with you as the hero. Speak to people. And check things wherever you go, be it towns, roads, or caves. Gather information and something about a source. New paths will open to you by helping people in need, overcoming challenging and solving mysteries. At times you will be challenged by others and attacked by wild creatures. Be brave and keep pushing on. Through your adventure we hope that you will interact with all sorts of people and achieve personal growth. This is our biggest objective. Press the A button and let your adventure begin. Holy moly. Hello, you're new. Ah, you're finally here. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Holly. He's your father, by the way. The professor is your father. And it, it's quite cool. Now, there is a bit of a backstory to Vega. Now, it is the sequel to Altair and Sirius. Now, I should have really done Altair and Sirius first, as they have been, um... They have been, what is it? What is it called? Translated. But it's still the Japanese base game and not the English get because uh, you basically what you have to do with Vega you have to um, get an English fire red and patch this Vega onto it while with that the English translation of Old Air and Sirius you need to get the Japanese emerald and patch it on oh god I'm confused now but yeah basically that's how you do it and there is a story behind Old Air and Sirius basically you're coming back to your region this is the region and you're meeting your dad who for some reason asked me what I am. Am I a boy or a girl? As you saw on my save file before I went into the new game, I am going to be playing a girl this time, and I'm going to be Bronwyn. I really like that name. I really do like that name. 
Uh, like quite a lot of things that my um some of my character one of my characters in Divinity Original Sin is called Bronwyn. One of my my fi my Fury Warrior is called Bronwyn. And I'm probably going to call my character a Moon Bronwyn as well. Why not? So yeah, let's go on, Bronwyn, Bronwyn. Tom. Now let's talk about this boy. He's studying to become a Pokemon Nine. Yeah. Ranger. What was his name again? Now, honestly, I'm not surprised that you don't know his name. So, because I don't know his name, I don't know who this is. So, his I think his real name is Nathan or something. But we're gonna call him Carlton. I don't know why. Let's just call him Carlton. That's what I called him in my other file. <laughs> so I might as well, Carlton. Here we are. Uh, was it Carlton? Ah, that's right. I remember now. His name is Carlton. Right. Okay. Bronwyn, your very own Pokemon legend, is about to unfold. A world full of dreams and adventures with Pokemon awaits. Let's go. Alright, fantastic. Let's go. Oh, look at this. My Nez and my Snez. Fantastic. Now let's go to my po PC. Get out the potion, because why not? I might use, especially for grinding, I'll be using the speeder button quite liberally. And if you can hear any, that's because I'm using a Xbox 360 controller. It's very easy to set one up. I'll do it now, fuck it, why not? There you go onto Joypad, you go onto Configure, you choose any of these, go in there, and then let's see, you go, let's go onto the one that I've got. And basically, you just click, wait for, plug in your Xbox 360 controller before you bring in Visual Boy Advance, otherwise it might not work. So basically, even if you have, just close up the Visual Boy Advance, reopen it, go onto here, and then you'll be able to sort out your bindings. Now, there we go. Basically what I have, I have up, down, left, right is obviously the, you no know, the um, control stick. A is A, B is B, L and R are left and right trigger, and speed up is bumper. Start is obviously start, and select is obviously select. So, yeah, that's how I play this. Now, Bronwyn, your running shoes you've used to this point won't work on these snowy roads. Take these. Ah, okay. So I get new... Brand new ro brand new robots. Brand new running shoes. And we're also getting a thing as well. That's finally good. Town map. Let's have a look at no, well, that was not very clever. Let's also have a look at the um No, that's not it either. Where is it? there it is. Let's have a look at the town map. This is the Tohoke region. We're in Pasalia Town. And look, that's quite cool. It's quite a nice looking place. Uh Gamboji. Nice. We'll need to go this way and then up to Genopsis. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. So, yeah. We've got our plan sorted. And we'll hopefully get our Pokemon soon. Now, let's see the speed up. Oh, it's fast. But yeah, we will probably be speeding up through some stuff. I might stick around for most of the um, dialogue. Because, you know, it's always good. Hey, Bronwyn, over here. I'm going to give him a northern accent. Sorry for bothering you, but I need you to come with me to my lab. Come on. How was, how was the trip journey? Oh, that is alright, Dad. Alright, that's okay. Well, I was owing four years. Not too bad, not too bad, Dad. Not too bad, Dad. Bad Dad. Ah, <laughs> uh, Carlton's here, too. In that case, I'd like to ask the two of you to. -la 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 -la. It's me, the Moss. M O S. Bronwyn, it's been a, a while since I last raw you. Oh, God. Oops, raw. I would be a lot better cooked. Honestly, raw me. Oh, sorry, I've just realised that this, um, my mouse is pointing towards this Pokeball. Can't think why. Uh, that wasn't, that was a complete accident. <laughs> but, you know. Raw me. Mm, that makes me think, bite the pillow, I'm going in, bitch, sort of thing. Not better cooked. Fuck's sake, Mosmero. Um, Professor, who's this strange man? Oh, that's, uh, well, I am the Moss. My name's Mosmero. Remember it well, because it'll be on the next test. Sorry, Mosmero, but could you let me speak for a little while? Oh, oh, oh okay. Mosmero is my old friend. Bronwyn, you're familiar with him too, right? I actually called him over because I needed to ask him a favour as well. Well, I think I've, we've gotten a bit off track. So let's go to the real issue here. I called the two of you out here because I have a favour to ask of each of you. First, Bronwyn, you might have heard about this, but recently, Pokemon species first, first thought to appear due to the meteors and Owen and started to appear here in the Toeoak region. Bollocks. That's the reason why I... Fuck off. Fuck off. The reason why they started to appear is an interesting research topic in a... Topic in of... In... In of... Oh, God. In itself. 
as a stepping stone to that, I'd like to ask you to take an ecological survey of the current bog one in the Toad region. And you get your own no to poker token. I just said toker decks. You get your own toker decks, like you like smoke weed and shit. You need to research things in a fresh new way. I've been taking care of the Pokemon that you used in Owen here at the lab. Oh, I didn't have any Pokemon at uh, Owen in the lab. Wait, what? That me? What? No. What? <sighs> Next, Carlton. <I'll laughs> Let's just move on. Next, Carlton. I've heard that you're studying to be a Pokemon Ranger. I want you to deliver this secure style of Jackie in the Fright City. You can make the final adjustments needed to get it working. Carlton was entrusted with a secure style. I don't know why I have to be the narrator, because you can read, but whatever. Understood. If it understood, leave it to me, and now mission step. Ah, oh, wait. Trying to capture Pokemon on your own would be very dangerous, wouldn't it? I'll give you your own Pokemon. Oh, and you too, of course, Bronwyn. Oh, fucking... Afterthought. An afterthought. I have a feeling that I'm going to be left out of this. I'll give him that voice and said, I guess I'm out of here. Ah, oh, wait. Ah, oh, wait, Musmero. I need to give... Ah, yes, okay, I'll take good care of this. Mosmero, mission start. Yeah, I'm going to give him that voice, and Carlton can have, I don't care, voice. <laughs> I don't care what voice Carlton gets. Let's see here. He could be very high, like Teemo. He's like the Teemo of this guy. Teemo. Right, let's go. Now, our options. We're going to go in normal grass fire, grass fire water mode. We're going to start off with Nimbleaf, the grass type. It's quite a good Pokemon. I've never actually used it, so I don't know. And that might be a hint of what I'm going to use. Next, we have Pyro. Oh, sorry, I should have mentioned Nimbleaf is grass flying in its fire evolution. Now we've got Pyro, which is a really good... I quite like his name, but Py it looks like Pyro, but it's Pyro. It's fire evolution. It looks amazing and fire steel. Like, out of all of them, the fire evolution... Like, the evolution of Pyro is the best looking starter. It looks amazing. We will see it at some point, I'm sure. And it's Fire Steel, quite defensive, learned some pretty good moves. And lastly, but definitely not least, we have Liquiput, the water Pokemon that evolves into a water poison, and it learns quite a lot of good moves. Very good special attack, decent bulk. And this is speedy, that's defensive, and that's bulky, but with some special attack. With some bite. It's got some bite. Well, that's got a lot of bite and no trousers. That's got too many trousers and no bite. And that's got some bite and trousers. We're going to pick, I always pick Liquiput, so I'm not going to pick Liquiput. I don't want to pick Pyro because it gets bummed in the early game, although it is still good if you can, you know, deal with it. I'm going to pick Nibleaf. Because Grass Flying, Rowlet, come on. <sighs> Fucking Grass Flying. Fucking Rowlet. Everyone, uh, all, like, game freaks seem to have to fuck, like, because for the longest time, hack games... Right, let's do that again. For the longest time, it seems like hacked games always have like a grass flying type. <laughs> and then now Game Freak are finally going, oh yeah, we're going to go for grass flying type for our starter. Very good. Let's uh, give it a Nimbleaf. Uh, sorry. I'm a bit, I'm a bit tired. Nimbleaf. We're going to call him Basil. Nim Basil the Nimbleaf. Now, there is a chance for each grass... Uh, sorry. For each starter to get their, inverted commas, hidden ability. There is a chance. And hopefully, hopefully we get it. Because Nimbleaf has got a very good, very good hidden ability. Seeing as it's grass flying, it gets thick fat. So hopefully we get it. Hasty, not bad. Ah! Oh! That's two times in a row, because the last time I recorded, that it didn't work, because when I l watched it back, it just didn't work, so it was a bit confusing. But yeah, Hasty, not bad, but Overgrow again, so that's a bit of a shame. Now let's go and... Oh! Oh! Hey, wait up! We just got our Pokemon, so how about a little battle? Okay, then. Look, the music is really good! I love it. <laughs> I think that's from Pokemon Ranger, so it kind of fits. And this, I have no idea what it's from, but it's still original music, and that's quite cool. What about his hair's black, and it should be purple? But purple's my favourite colour, by the way. He didn't need to know, but I don't care. Now, seeing as we are minus offensive nature, what happened last time when I recorded this that will never be able to be seen, I was mild, and I got bummed. <laughs> I actually got bummed. 
by this pyro because pyro's defensive and I'm super frail. I have eight, eight defense. And even though pyro, pyro, pyro's not that physically offensive, it's still hurt at level five. So hopefully, hopefully, let's just tail whip. <laughs> it's cute. Look at it. The way it's holding its leaf. It's really cute. Don't piss off. Oh god. Oh god. We're gonna die. Please get like seven crits, Basil. Oh god. Go away, Holly. Oh god. This is gonna be painful. Please don't hurt me. Please be, please be gentle. No. No. Ow. Mm. Come on. We need to at least two hit KO it from here. Please. No! I could use the potion! I could use the potion! I will use the potion! No, is there any point? Hang on, let's do some maths in my head. Yes, there is a point! Fuck off! Go away! God, it's already hard! I just don't want to loose! Come on, people spell lose with two O's. It, it, it tilts. No! No, was that a waste? No! I could have just fucking killed it. I didn't have to waste a potion. Pretty good player. At least Basil's got level 6. That's good. Very good. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I am the best. It wasn't hard at all. I didn't need to stress myself out by getting a potion. Right. Well, that is... Basil, yes, he's healed. Fantastic. Fant well, this has already gone better than the unaired episode. Uh, now, I could do a little bit of talking, but I'm not going to. Ha <laughs> ha! That was... F okay, well, first, I actually want to get some Pokeballs. And you don't get Pokeballs from the Professor or anyone in Porcelia. You get them from here, for some reason. Like, you get them from this chick over here. For some reason, like, I saw it from the window. You came out of Poseidon Town with a single Pokemon. How does she know? You must be a rookie trainer right here. You can have these if you want. Now, have you hacked the game and got, like, more than one Pokemon? Do you think she'll notice? Hmm. I don't know how you hack the game to give you more Pokemon, unless... I don't know. Without hacking the game, giving trainers, giving you Pokemon, I don't know. But anyway, we've got Pokeballs now. We have... Five whole poke. Well, that's Basil, not Pokeballs, but who cares? Hopefully, we'll see our first Pokemon that I want to catch. First, we're going to kill Taylo. No, we're not, because it's got Fly Move straight out of the bat. Good! Good! At least we've got another potion, so let's go speed up and have a look for the Pokemon. There you are, Glay Child! Now, this Pokemon is really good. Well, it's Final Evolution, it's quite speedy, quite good with special attack, and also. It has enough, it's not got the, well actually, it's not got the best move pool, but it's got enough to make a set out of it, basically. It's got enough to make a set, so it's better than nothing. Uh, let's get a tail whip. Oh no, it's not got clear body, so we're not having it. Uh, basically it gets clear body or inner focus, but I want one with clear body. Oh, let's just, I'll just go for it. Ooh, I nearly got beaten by a level 2. Nearly got beaten by a level 2, for fuck's sake. Uh, hey, go away. Hey, Glade Child. First, I'm actually going to absorb because I need health. Thank you. Tail Whip. Yes! No! Basil. Basil. Yeah, you're another Glade Child. Tail Whip. Nope. Let's just, ki let's just kill this then. I might as well kill it. Yeah, I might as well kill him instead of running away because then I can actually get the exact same health as I've had after every battle. Like I'm level 7. I've had 7 health after the battles. So I really should. Oh god. Tell it, please. Yes! Charm, good. But I can absorb. Yes! Yes! Don't crit! Yes! Now I've been charmed to fuck, so let's scratch. And let's see. Hopefully, this will be like modest with a Nevermelt Ice. They do have a chance to come with a Nevermelt Ice. So hopefully, this Glade Child will have. Good never melt ice and be good nature. Please. Mild will do. Not, um, mild. Rash would do. Timid will be great. A good speed nature that's not jolly. And a good special attack nature that's not quiet. And 
As long as it hasn't got adamant, that would be quite good. Come on. Right, I didn't read the... I'm sorry, I was going to read... I, I had a plan that I was going to read all of the um, newly caught, you know, Pokemon's Dex entries like Dexter, but I didn't. I kind of forgot because I was talking about Primrose. That's going to be her name. I'm very out of sorts with uh, narrating battles and videos and live videos, so let's let's go on to it now. Let's, while we're at it, do Nimbleaf as well. Nimbleaf, the sprout Pokemon. It, if it is starving, it will eat its own leaf for substance. Apparently, the leaf doesn't taste very good. Oh dear. We've got Pyro, we've got Talo. Glaychild, if it senses danger, it will burrow into the snow and wait. In the meantime, it will live off a diet of Jon Snow. Oh dear. Imagine that, like, just munching on Jon Snow. It's like, ooh, dear, ooh. No, let's not talk about that. Because I quite like him. I quite like Jon Old Snow. Uh, naive! That'll do. That'll do. That'll do, Pig. That'll do, Primrose. Fantastic. Nice! This is already going better than the last time. Because the last time didn't go very well at all. Now let's absorb. Might as well get some experience up there for Basil. God, I hate Razor Leaf. Uh, bleh, not Razor Leaf. I hate Absorb. It's such a bad move. No. At least I like it. At least it gets better, like with Giga Drain and stuff. But with Leech Life, Leech Life is wank. Why don't they make Leech Life 75 base power? Make it a good bug move. Like another good bug move. Because a lot of Pokemon learn Leech Life. Make it a really good bug move. The same level as Giga Drain, Drain Punch, and all that jazz. Boost the power of Parabolic Charge, because fuck that. Why is it not good? Ugh. I'm still salted that Parabolic Charge and Draining Kiss were crap. Like, please kill. Thank you, Basil. Nice, and now we can train up another Pokemon. But yeah, Parabolic Charge, why is it good? But there are... Hang on. Is there another, like, Draining move in this game? I can't remember off the top of my head. But anyway, let's just pound. 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 This is good. Pound. Bound. Yes, Primrose. Oh, so close to level 5. Let's battle this person. Togepi. Okay. Oh! Oh. Right, okay. Let's just switch to Basil. Let's just switch to Basil. Ooh. Jesus! <laughs> I'm so glad that that rain dance was up. Fuck! Jesus Christ. Let's just, let's just kill it. Let's speed up and kill it. Jesus. 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 Jesus Christ. Uh. God. Oh, no. Ow. No. Please. Kill. Oh, Primrose, you beast. Oh, Primrose has been... Primrose is such a good Pokemon. Like, it's always helped me. Like, it's been helping me for ages. Like, whenever I... Hmm. Well, that's the end of Primrose's praises. But honestly, like, the Pokemon, like, the, uh, Primrose, the Pokemon, like, uh, in my, like, like, practice runs as well as, you know, just ca casual runs, it's been a fucking godsend. It's so good. So I definitely wanted to use it in an LP because uh, the fact that it's pure ice is a bit wank and it's not got the best move set, but it has got some nasty bite. I mean, I think it's got base 125 special attack and base 100 speed, and it gets access to a good boosting move in nasty plot. So it's very good. It's very good Pokemon. And I want to train it so I can get Powder Snow, because with Powder Snow, I'll be able to bum these Talos. So that's why I want Powder Snow. Come on, Bros, yes. Come on. Oh, another Glade Child. I think these give special attack EVs. That's fine with me. Another Glay Child. You only find Glay Child and Taylor here, which is all right. I mean, the fact that they don't have like a normal, the normal, like you know, the normal Pokemon, like you know, Young Goose. I don't know why it's the Young Goose. The Sun and Moon. It's not even out yet, and I'm already defaulting to Young Goose. But yeah, basically, like you know, Young Goose, Six of Goon, and all that jazz. I'm gonna potion up Primrose. Um. Yeah, we get Primrose instead, Glaychild instead, which is cool, and it makes sense because this is a sin like this is a snowy area, but mm, yeah, the normal type rodent Pokemon, Route One rodent Pokemon, is in the post game, which is okay. Oh god, that Pineco! 
This swept me in my last run. My, not my last run, but in my last, my, you know, my last, um, my last attempt to record, it swept me. But I think we're doing quite well. Let me just check the time at the minute. Oh, that's it. Oh shit. Oops. But yeah, that's it. Uh, thank you all for watching. Hopefully, you all enjoyed this video. Uh, please, if you like it, give it a like and a. Did I not save it? I didn't save it. Please, if you enjoyed it, then please give this a like. Whack some comments. That'd be really, really cool. Thank you very much. And also, maybe tell your friends. I, you know, I hate to do that sort of thing. But hopefully, telling your friends will make this series a very good series that people can enjoy. And it'd be quite good. But yeah, thank you for watching. Come like, subscribe. I'll be seeing you all next time. You know what? I'm probably going to record the next couple of parts now. And then upload one of them later today. So yeah, thank you all for watching. Come like, subscribe. I'll be seeing you all next time. Please, like, share if you want to. Although... You don't have to. Goodbye. Shit, I need to... Yeah, there he is. See ya.